Hello, and welcome to what's intended to be a series of short videos about AI planning, PDDL, and the tooling that comes with it. And whether you are a professor at the university, uh, teaching students how to get started, or uh, you are a novice and want to learn it on your own, or you are a solution integrator that needs planning as part of your architecture, you are going to find something useful here. We're going to start at the planning.domains website, and you can see it has multiple elements to it. It has a catalog of PDDL samples. It hosts an online PDDL solver, and it has an editor, and it also provides a number of educational resources. We're going to go to the editor, and that's going to show fairly nicely usable interface. We, I like it dark. We are going to load a session already created by Christian. Load that. Here we go. And it has a number of domains and problems and you could invoke the solver and visualize the plan, interact with it and further. There are many more useful features here. But what we are going to do is we are going to see if we can take this one step further, the experience, and take the session into a more in-depth developer environment. And for that, we are going to use Visual Studio Code. So if you go to code.visualstudio.com, you will find installers for uh, all the three major platforms. Assuming that's what you installed, you go to session, open offline. And that's now going to prompt the browser asking you, you want to do that? That's going to be handled by Visual Studio Code. Yes, perfect, we will. And in turn, Visual Studio Code that uh, uh, was already running is now saying, yep, I can open that for you, but you are actually uh, needing one more extension. So that's the PDDL extension in the uh, extension marketplace and you can automatically get it installed by just clicking that button if you want to install it separately you will find it in the extensions if you just search for pddl there it is so the extension is installing when it's done installing it is going to prompt us to reload the window now that is uh, just activating the extension and the extension is suggesting that we now take the files that were in the online session and we want to place them somewhere locally. So we are going to name it, let's actually name it by the session ID itself. Uh, we create a folder for it and the session uh, will start being downloaded now. That may take a little bit, depending how big the PDDL code is in there. So now we have our PDDL files in here, the same way they were in the online session, and can browse through them, can lay them out any way we want uh, for readability, and uh, interact with it in the domain model. Now we can see the outline being populated by all of the actions and the predicates. And if there were functions, they will be listed here as well. And uh, just as well, we can right click on one of those files and uh, ask the solver to give us a plan. So here is the plan for that domain same that we could do online and we are hitting the same service. Now the way you we can interact with the environment here is either through the explorer to explore the files, search through them, interact with the files as a, in a version control. So the way this is now integrated in here is and that we are using the source control provider here. And uh, you can use that if you modify the code. 
you can see right away that yes here is the modification you can look at the diff and if this session wasn't read only you could push it to the server and if somebody else updates the session you can click on uh, the uh, the version and uh, uh, switch to the new version basically pull the server for for new versions of the same session So that's the basics of the navigation in Visual Studio Code. What we perhaps need to do here is take this a little bit further with the experience here. So when you install Visual Studio Code PDDL extension, you will get a number of features and you get to them by either pressing F1 or uh, finding the right here we go command palette and typing pddl and now that pre-selects all of the commands here and if i click on the overview page now that's welcoming me to the to the experience here giving me the learning resources and showing the important parts of uh, the the extensions configuration now, right away here, it's it's suggesting that we are missing a couple of uh, things. So one, uh, you can see that working with those files will, will not be very easy because they all have the same icons. So if you uh, enable uh, the, the, the better icon theme, um, you get the icons where you can distinguish plants and uh, domain problems and other files. It's also saying that you uh, are missing a PDDL parser and a validator, and they all come in the uh, set uh, of binaries called val for validate. And uh, if you follow the links here, you can find out what it is and where it comes from. I'm just going to click on the download button, and now I'm getting uh, nicely the binaries of the parser and the validate and uh, several other utilities that we are going to need later. They are now configured in here. So if I come back to my domain file, for example, and uh, actually create a syntax error right here, uh, you can see it takes pretty much no time and it tells me well, it cannot recognize what uh, this is. Oh, yeah. Uh, because I didn't open the other corresponding file. Yeah, it cannot recognize whether this is a domain and a problem because it doesn't go far enough into the file. If we say this is domain, that's invalid PDDL. And, and again, if we make a misspelling here, then not only we get the syntax highlighting saying that's probably wrong, that's not probably what, what we meant, but uh, now it says, yep, indeed, there is, a, there is a syntax error right here. So that's the first step to get from uh, the online editor on planning.domains website to the offline in Visual Studio Code and interacting with the same files. That's the end of the first one.